The former owner of KFMB stations has agreed to plead guilty in the college admissions bribery scandal. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. And I'm Jessica Gahn. Carlo has a night off. Elizabeth Kimmel is among dozens of parents charged in the scheme, including actresses Felicity Huffman and Lori Laughlin. As News 8's David Gofferson reports, Kimmel will serve prison time and admit to paying a half a million dollars to get her kids admitted to elite colleges. Elizabeth, do you have any comments to make? This is going to have a felony for the rest of her life, and the ramifications for that are uh, significant. Kimmel will plead guilty to one felony count of conspiracy to commit fraud. She will serve six weeks in prison, but she had been facing up to 20 years in prison for paying a half million dollars to get her two children into Georgetown University and the University of Southern California. Former San Diego U.S. Attorney Chuck LaBella says the prison time sends a message to the community. Six weeks of prison is, is not a, you know, a day at camp. You know, it sends a message that these are not probation cases, that someone is not going to be able to buy their way out or, you know, pay a fine and just sort of get a slap on the wrist. Kimmel is set to appear remotely on Monday in Massachusetts federal court to enter her guilty plea. Prosecutors say she will admit to paying a half million dollars to get her daughter admitted to Georgetown University under a tennis admission and her son admitted to USC under a pole vaulting admission. But the complaint says neither one of the children were skilled enough in those sports to qualify for admission. This was a fraud. It was a fraud on the community. It was a fraud on the schools. It was a fraud on the men and women who were also applicants who did not get in because of the priorities given to these individuals whose parents paid a sum of money to get their children into elite schools. More than 30 parents have now pleaded guilty in the college admissions scandal. Earlier this year, a judge denied a motion to dismiss the charges against Kimmel, leading to the plea agreement, where she also will have to pay a fine of a quarter million dollars and do 500 hours of community service work. This is something that people with a lot of money took advantage of and uh, were trying to help their kids, but they're helping them in the wrong way. Kimmel currently lives in Las Vegas, but property records show she still owns her mansion in La Jolla. Marcella? David, as part of her plea agreement, will Kimmel have to cooperate with prosecutors in any of other cases? Yes, she will. Uh, that tennis coach at Georgetown University, Gordon Ernst, he's set to go to trial in November, and Elizabeth Kimmel could be called as a witness and testify on the stand in that trial. All right. Thanks so much, David.